Let's say that we've got two matrices. And I'll just, for simplicity, I'll start with two two by two matrices. So let's say that this first one right over here is two, negative two, five, and let's say five and three. And then I have this matrix right over here that it's also going to be two by two. And let's say it's negative one, four, let's say seven and negative six. And what I want to go through in this video, what I want to introduce you to is the is the convention, the mathematical convention for multiplying two matrices like this. And I want to stress that because mathematicians could have come up with a bunch of different ways to define matrix multiplication. But the convention that I'm going to show you is is the way that it is done. And it's done this way, especially as you go into deeper linear algebra classes or you start doing computer graphics or even modeling different types of phenomena. You'll see why this type of matrix multiplication, which I'm about to show you, why it, it has the most applications. But I really want to stress, this is a human construct. Humans have found defining matrix multiplication the way I'm about to show you to be useful. So let's just think about how this could how this could be. And once again, I want to stress it's a human construct. There's several ways that you could have thought about multiplying two two by two matrices. You could have done it the same way that you add matrices. When you add matrices, both matri both matrices have to have the same dimensions, and you just add the corresponding entries in the matrices. So why don't we? One convention could have been why don't we just for the for a product right over here? Why don't we? Why don't we just multiply corresponding entries? So two times negative one would put a negative two here. Negative two times four put a negative eight here. That's how we did addition. We added corresponding entries, but that is not the convention for multiplying matrices. That is not the standard convention. The standard convention for multiplying matrices is we're essentially going to take to get this to get this top left entry right over here. We're going to take the product of this row of that row with this column right over here. Now what does it mean to take the product of a row and a column? And if you are familiar with vector dot products, this might ring a bell where you take the product of the corresponding terms, the product of the first terms, products of the second terms, and then add those together. And so that's essentially what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking the dot product of this first row and this first column to get this top left entry right over here. If the word dot product makes no sense to you, I will show you what that actually means. So, and actually let me let me give let's get some more real estate here just so I think it'll be useful, especially this very first time that we attempt to multiply to multiply matrices. So this top left entry, it's going to be two times negative one. So two times negative one plus negative two plus negative two times seven plus negative two times seven. So notice, I took the product, first entry in the row, first entry in the column, those two products. Then the product of second entry in the row, second entry in the column, that's right over there. And then I added them together. And that's essentially taking the dot product of this row vector and this column vector. If that doesn't make sense to you, if you're never, not familiar with vectors and dot products, don't worry about it. We just took the first ent product of the first entry, product of the second entry, added them together to get, this is going to give us some number. And we'll calculate that in a few seconds. But let's think about the other ones. So to get this, to get this entry right over here, we're going to take the first row from this matrix and the second column from, from this matrix. And that kind of makes sense because this is, we're still in the first row, but we're in the second column of the first row right here. First row, second column. So it's going to be two times four, two times four, plus negative two, plus negative two, times negative six. And at this point, I encourage you to pause the video. Seeing what you just saw, see if you could complete this. See if you can figure out the bottom left entry and the bottom right entry. And I'll give you a clue. It has something to do with the second row here. So I'm assuming you've given a go at it. Now let's just, let's just power through it together. Sometimes matrix multiplication can get a little bit intense. So to, we're now in the second row. So we're going to use the second row of this first matrix. And for this entry, second row, first column. Second row, first column. Five times negative one, five times negative one, plus three times seven, plus three times seven. And then finally, we're in the home stretch now, to get, to get this 
to get this bottom row, second column, or second row, second column, we multiply this row, essentially, by this column right over here. So it is going to be 5 times 4, 5 times 4, plus 3 times negative 6. Plus 3 times negative 6. Now what is all of this, what is all of this simplify to? So this is going to be equal to, let's see, so negative 2 plus negative 14, that's going to be negative 16. That right over there is negative 16. Then we have 8 plus 12, so that's going to be 20. And then we have negative 5 plus 21, which is going to be 16. Positive 16, did I do that right? Yep, positive 16. And then finally, you're going to have 20 minus 18. So that's just going to be 2. So the product of these two matrices, we deserve a little bit of a drum roll at this point. When we multiply this 2 by 2 matrix times this 2 by 2 matrix, we are going to get negative 16, 20, 20, 16, and 16, and 2. And we are done.